Let's start. The project name is a floating action button. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have three floating action buttons. One is the default button. One is the mini button, and one is the extended floating action button. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the default floating action button. Here we set the icon and icon color of the button. This is the mini floating action button. Here we set the icon, icon color, and background color of the button. Also, the fab size attribute is set to mini. This is the extended floating action button. Here we set the icon, icon color, and background color of the button. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. In the onCreate function, when the default floating action button is clicked, we show a toast. When the mini floating action button is clicked, we show a toast. By default, we keep the extended floating action button shrunk. When the extended button is clicked, we check if the button is shrunk or extended, and change its state accordingly. And simultaneously we show a toast. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the floating action button in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.